No hunt compares with the pursuit of Tuskers, the living, breathing embodiment of majesty and magnificence in the animal kingdom. Truly massive and wildly unpredictable, it takes steely resolve and self-confidence to step into their world and deliver a perfect shot that could just as easily be your last. As hunters, our fees support game and habitat protection programs that have deterred poachers, led to a resurgence in some parts of their range, and created incredible moments of field like this one. Yeah, I got a big track here. Looks like from this morning. It's a big, big bull. When you get close, these animals are truly monsters. As he sort of turned towards me, I could see the ivory wasn't real round, so we we decided we probably wouldn't shoot him, but then he started coming towards us. Okay, just get ready. Get ready. 10 yards, 30 feet, you, you, you don't have a lot of time to make a decision. And it was the red zone. We were in the red zone. Well, the only thing you can do there is stand your ground, and eventually the bull turned around and moved off and then came back around for a second, second go. Watch him, watch him, watch him. OK, get on the sticks, get on the sticks. And I'm just trying to be as calm as I can, and I'm trying to focus on a good target. We're not going to shoot him unless he makes us. If this bull comes and presses us, we're going to have to shoot him. So Don was ready. He was right on the sticks and, and never hesitated. I think if both tusks were the same, we probably would have taken him. But a uh, little, little thin, but big, big old bull. That was, that was way cool. He walked away, and then everybody kind of goes, oh, takes a breath, looks around. Yep, we're all still here. And I won't forget that anytime soon. Don Pittager is hunting with Jeff Ran and Ran Safaris, one of the most respected dangerous game outfitters in all the world. They hunted in Botswana before the country closed for hunting at the end of 2013, where elephants roam free and fear no one, making them an ever-present danger anywhere you encounter them, especially in the thick bush. As you'll see, Jeff's uncanny knowledge of the elephant's behaviors consistently put his clients in position to take and to make a shot of a lifetime. About halfway through the hunt, we kind of came around a corner and saw a big bull, and uh, we were quite close to him. Jeff got the glasses on and said, this is it. Big old bull had broomed off both his tusks a little bit, one more than the other. And, and Don was excited. He said, yeah, that's the that's bull I want. Come, Bridget, let's get up on him. Oh. OK, he's just up here. OK, he's close now. Let's go slow. OK, I see him. Yeah, you see him? Yeah. Get on the sticks. OK, now he's just feeding. We got to wait for him to come out. No, OK. We want him to come to us. OK, you can't get any closer. Just be watching him. We finally spotted the elephant, and I could see him, but Jeff wants to get us as close as possible. He is thing is 20 yards and another five yards closer. This monster elephant was behind a bush, but fortunately coming towards us. Okay, he's still the right side. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna take a step forward. I'm gonna grab his sticks and move up his step. Okay. Now get his attention, and I want you to take him. Jeff didn't like it because we had a broadside. He loves frontal brains. We move the sticks even closer. That elephant spun on us. Let's take your time. OK, take the shot when you're ready. Right between the eyes. Good shot. He's down. Go Come on. Let's move up. I was very fortunate. Made a textbook shot. And that's the biggest relief to me is that elephant just dropped in its tracks. Well, that was a perfect frontal brain shot. Thank <laughs> well you. Done. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job, Avery. Good. Good job. Well done, guys. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I love it to see that happen where the those bulls go down with one shot, especially that frontal brain shot. It's a difficult shot. Congratulations. Thank you. By the book. <laughs> you work hard, and everything you do, you have the highs, the lows, and then to finally realize that all that preparation comes together, that's uh, a great feeling. It's something you can't explain until you actually do it. Then it's I can't wait for my next trip. Mark, there's two good bulls out there. I can't tell, you know, at this distance, but we're going to get okay. up on a little bit and uh, okay. have a look. The problem is having two together, you know, the one we may want to shoot may not be the one that we can get up on, but 
We're just gonna get they up. They both on. look big. They're <laughs> huge bodies, yeah. They both look big. Big, big frames. Yeah. The right. Yep. 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 Hey! Oh. Hey! Okay. This has a bull, see if he'll turn it. Hey! 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 Tell him that. All right. Not, not quite the right one. Nice bull. I mean, getting close like that, though, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So you got to be ready. That's cool. Not going to back down. Let's just back up a little bit. Just give okay. him some space. You guys go out. How's that for a, how's that for a close encounter? <laughs> that, was, that was a close encounter. <laughs> Botswana's vast and vital Okavango Delta, where elephants roam wild and free. This is where I hunted with Mark DeYoung, the president of Federal Premium Ammunition, when he came to this amazing place on a personal quest to take his first elephant. I've gotten to the point where I really enjoy taking people to Africa, being with people that haven't been to certain parts of Africa, or frankly, haven't even been to Africa yet, just to sort of see again, you know, for the first time, what it's like through, through their eyes, through their words and emotions, you know, what this whole place is about. Here in the Okavanga Delta, when Jeff Rand approached me, Chris Dorsey, and said, would I like to come with them on an elephant hunt here? It was a different opportunity. There are habitat issues here. Elephants can be very destructive. And so this was an opportunity to really come in and do something that was right for the animal and an opportunity to participate in a hunt I really felt good about. So it's really exciting to be here. Anytime you're hunting dangerous game, there's consequences. And I think that just adds to the hunt. Also, just an elephant being such a huge animal, I think your heart pounds just getting up close to one, whether you're gonna shoot him or not. So as hunters progress, you know, with their hunting throughout their career, they realize that elephant is the greatest hunt there is, not just Africa, but I think in the world. The African elephant intimidates in stages. Initially, it will stand tall and flare its ears. The next step is to stomp its foot to make you feel its power. After that, it will try a bluff charge. Finally, the game is over and the charge is for real and a hunter needs a big enough gun and a cool nerve. The minimum caliber required for elephant is a 375. In Botswana, you're shooting through three or four feet of skin, muscle, bone, tissue to get into the brain. The 500 grain trophy bonded sledgehammer solid in Federal Premium 458 Magnum delivers over two tons of energy at the muzzle. And on a five ton animal, every ounce of that energy is needed. Shot placement becomes everything, particularly on a frontal shot. If that elephant is gonna turn and face you, you have a target that you have to hit, which isn't much bigger than this, and you've gotta do that with open sights, under pressure, with your heart beating, and uh, it becomes a really critical part of an elephant hunt, particularly if they're coming toward you, is accuracy and shot placement becomes everything. That is a beautiful bull right there. Are you guys ready? The true challenge, the excitement, the danger of elephant hunting lies in the last 100 yards. A shot from a heavy caliber rifle with open sights must be taken at close range. At a range so close that the elephant cannot help but know that an adversary is approaching. As he's coming, take him. Shot, okay, come up, come up, come up. Shot, good shot, good shot, get up there. Perfect shot. <laughs> All right, just watch him. Perfect shot. <laughs> oh, that was spectacular. You see that? <laughs> you can only take your first elephant one time, man. That's a fantastic Look at that animal. That hunt, that stock, and that shot in that situation at a proximity of 10, 12 steps brought back all those feelings of emotion and exhilaration that you feel as that 12-year-old, 14-year-old kid on your first deer hunt. And it was a tremendous feeling. I just, I just really enjoyed that hunt and really enjoyed the success that we had. We're back in Botswana's CT7 concession where legendary professional hunter Jeff Rand has lived and worked since 1983 with a concentration on dangerous game, specifically elephants. I went to Botswana and I've been there since 1983. When Elephant opened in 1996, I concentrated primarily on elephant hunting and uh, taken over 200 elephant. Of the scores of hunting clients Rand's led to trophy elephants over the decades, no hunt has meant more than this one with his son, Jared. Even for 23 years old, he has got really keen senses and uh, 
and aware of, of what's going around him and as far as hunting and uh, in, in the world in general. At nine months of age, Jared was in the bush with Jeff, and since then, he spent countless days in Africa, often at the side of his father hunting elephants. On the first morning, actually within the first half hour, uh, we came up on a group of elephants, and uh, one bull was just big and old. You could tell from his body. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> That's hard, and he's a nice elephant. Um, but we've, we've hardly hunted this area, you know? Um, so, I mean, we, maybe if we pass him up, we might be able to come back. We don't see anything, but... Well, it's always a risk, you know, but, you know, as long as we don't spook him, I think there's a chance we might be able to come back and find yeah. him. But we decided, OK, let's pass him. We don't really know what this area holds, and, uh, you know, it was, it was a little tough walking away, but it was the right decision. <laughs> it was about 4.30 in the afternoon, and we come up to this pan and we see some elephant. And one of them really looks really promising. You just see this long ivory from a distance, and we decide, OK, no, we need to go and look at this elephant. And we look at it, and it's a really nice bull. And we decide, you know, this is the one. <laughs> we make our stalk, and, you know, your heart starts going. And uh, every step, you know, you're just getting closer and closer. Trying to get through, trying to be as quiet as possible. You know, your just heart starts beating harder and harder, and then just the, you know, I can't really describe how, how, how nerve-wracking it is trying to get around the stones and the twigs and stuff. I mean, it, was, it was crazy. Everything's running through your mind. And he started to swing around and he turned and uh, that's when I knew you know, this was the moment. <laughs> you just have this colossus in front of you. It is really, you know, that intimidation factor definitely comes into play there. <laughs> he brought up the bread at double 470 and, and had him, you know, I thought, perfectly lined up. You know, once he's turned, that was it. You, you know, had to take the shot. Between the eyes. Again, lower. Shoot him in the shoulder. The ball. Shoot him in the shoulder, Jared. Good shot. I went for the, the frontal brain, but it was just a little low, and uh, he, he kind of rocked. He didn't fall, and he, he spun, and he started to go off. Um, but, you know, got another shot, and as he was going away, uh, but... <laughs> You know, it's pretty worrying when you see an elephant going full tilt away from you. <laughs> All hell broke loose at that point. So we followed the blood trail for uh, probably a couple hundred yards. Uh, and we were cautious at that point. Uh, once we had the blood, uh, I knew we were going to find the elephant eventually. Just keep an eye out. Look up. I'm watching. I'm looking for blood. At that point, you know, the emotions kind of all come together and uh, over the last four or five years have gone by pretty fast and, uh, you know, he's been busy and I'm busy and uh, it was nice just to spend some, some time together. You know, I've been on hunts with my dad and to have him there with me in this area that has this amazing potential was, it was <laughs> one of the best hunting experiences I've ever had. You know, there's, there's certain things in life you kind of always remember, I think, forever. It's your first kiss, it's your first child being born, it's your first beer, it's your first whiff of Hoppy's number nine if you're a hunter, and the first time you walk up on an elephant. Walk up to a 15,000 pound animal, particularly if you're 15, 20 yards away, the sheer size of that beast, I mean, it's, it's the closest thing you'll ever come to being next to a dinosaur. He doesn't really know we're here. Just kind of good on the right side. Yeah, got... you can see that. Uh... In my opinion, elephant hunting is the greatest hunt there is in the world. Uh, tracking these big bull elephants, getting up on them, looking at them, turning them down at 20 yards, 15 yards, having them come at you. There's no greater hunting experience in the world. Yeah, he's not what we're looking for. Uh, let's just back out and not disturb him too much. To hunt elephant, the most important thing is be able to judge ivory, but at the same time, get in close, uh, be confident that you can stop a charge if you need to, and uh, protect everybody in the party. The enormous elephant is also a master of concealment. And as with all dangerous game, it's the ones that you don't see that can kill you. It's a young bull, let's just back off. See how he's in Moscow. He's in Moscow. Okay, let's get back to 
Like see the dust. <laughs> That's how close he was. <laughs> it's kicking dust on us. I can smell them. I can smell that. Or is that my shorts? I'm not sure. <laughs> what was that out there? Botswana's Okavango Delta is an intricate mix of swamplands and grasslands, and the best outfitters are equally skilled at closing the distance on these enormous beasts by land or water. And I can tell you from experience, when you're on safari with Jeff Rand, you're witnessing a master at his craft. We knew. Of there was a big bull in this area. Sure enough, from one of the islands, we glance over to the next island, and there's this big, beautiful bull. I mean, he's just out there sunning himself. Chris, he's on that next island. Um, you think that's the one you guys have been seeing here before we arrived? Could be. You can see the long ivory shining in the sun. Yeah, yeah, hell, he shows way better than anything else we've seen. We need to get up on him, obviously, but we're going to have to get in the boat and, and make a start, get the wind right. So. We don't want him to get in the water. Come, 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 get up. OK, broke his hip. Come on. <laughs> he's, he's down, he's down, all right. Look at that ball. Just watch him. That last shot finished him off. My god, what a beast. What a, what a tough animal. Good god. I mean, 500 grain bullets. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that head. I mean, that head's taller than we are. Just enormous. When you hunt an animal like an elephant, I mean, it's such a personal thing. I mean, they're such magnificent animals. I mean, they're just unique. There's no animal in the world that, that rivals the elephant at a, at a very sort of personal hunting level. And I think if it, doesn't, if it doesn't strike you that way, go hunt something else. You know, go find something else to chase, because I think they're just that special, that if you don't have that kind of reverence for this animal, you probably have other options that are better for you. For me, the elephant represents the greatest of all hunting challenges and remains the most unforgettable of all my outdoor experiences. These enormous regal beasts embody nature's grandeur and mystery, and the honor of taking one is both humbling and exhilarating. 